So we all know that creating content is essential for building our brands and our businesses, but it can also feel pretty darn overwhelming. So if you've ever felt like, I don't know what to say, I don't know where to find content, and my personal favorite, I don't have time to create hundreds of pieces of content for my real estate business, then you are in the right place. My name is Melanie Gray, and I am the creator of the Mark Collective, which is our membership for realtors who wanna master their marketing and build impactful brands. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my content creation strategy, the one that I personally use in my business, the one that saved me 20 hours a month, and the one that we teach our members inside of the Mark Collective. So you're getting a front row seat to this content creation strategy. So get a notebook and settle in because this is going to be a good one. So let's dive on in and make sure to stick around until the end where I will share a very useful tool with you. Number one, we need to get clear on original content. We need to get passionate about creating content in a new, different way. Number two, ditch the to-do list and start thinking about strategy. Start thinking about what kind of content you want to share, what kinds of questions your clients ask you all the time, and how you can bring that information into your blogs, your podcasts, your social media. How can you share the answers to those questions in your own way? You make it your own by integrating your own stories, your own experiences, and your own opinions. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of realtors at this point, and I can tell you when I speak to Realtor A about pricing strategy, it's completely different than when I speak to Realtor B, C, and D. Everyone has their own unique way of doing things. They have their own experiences. They have their own opinions. And that's what we want to bring into this content creation process. Now that we know we need to create original content, the question becomes, how do we make all of our content creation easy? So here is the blueprint. We are focusing on creating really great long form content and long form content is something like a blog post, a podcast episode, or even a newsletter. So an example of long form content might be something like five simple staging hacks that will sell your home faster. Once you have your long form content, now we are going to move over into creating short form content. You can take any piece of content that you've created and extract so many pieces of snack sized amount of information from our long form content and repurposing it snackables and here is how we do that so let's take our five tips to staging your home for a higher sale example let's say one of those tips was replace heavy curtains with light curtains so there's more light coming into the room that one tip now becomes a standalone post on instagram facebook linkedin wherever you can also take that one tip and turn it into an entire new blog post talking about the importance of lighting when you are staging a home. You can take that one piece of content and create a podcast episode, YouTube shorts or reels, etc. So you already have so much content, but we're not gonna stop there. We're also gonna grab a quote from this long form piece of content. So you're gonna skim this long form piece of content for a sound bite, a really juicy nugget that you can then extract and put onto a post as a tweet, as a quote that you can add to a reel and make sure to give yourself credit because this is the beauty of original content. All of it is yours. There are countless ways that you can use this quote and you don't have to stop at one. You can find multiple quotes. You could go through each point of your long form content and take quotes from each one in a way to create even more content. So now we have countless pieces of content with just those two things, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna take our entire blog post and create a carousel post for Instagram, and it's going to end up becoming multiple pieces of content. And when I say multiple, I mean newsletters, Pinterest, a blog post, countless Instagram posts. All we have to do is be intentional with that one piece of long form content, and then we get a whole bunch of content for everywhere else. And it's important to note that you're not posting one after another, you're staggering these posts but they're already all created for you. Because when you think about it, if you're creating one piece of long form content a week, then that is four pieces of content a month. And that is 48 pieces of content a year. If that feels overwhelming to you, cut it in half, do two pieces of content a month, which would equal 24 pieces of content a year, and then focus on it by either the month or the quarter. And in order to make this really, really easy for you, I have created a content calendar that you can grab by clicking the link under this video. It's the same content calendar that we have inside the membership, so you're getting it for free today. You can plug and play all of your content and then you can decide how you're gonna repurpose it on social and beyond. It's a really great content calendar. It's great for organizing your ideas and you could essentially do it for the month
month, the quarter, or the year. So make sure to grab that free resource under this video. And that is it, my friends. That is how I create content in my business. That's how I choose to make it super simple and not overwhelming. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below letting me know what you thought or any future content that you want me to create and make sure to hit subscribe so that you're notified of any future videos that I put out. And that is it, my friends. I hope that this was helpful and I will speak to you soon.